I'm Kathy Fountain, licensed mental health counselor, and I want to talk to you about how to heal your relationship with your elderly mother. Now we know as we watch our parents age, they're going to become more set in their ways and maybe even more opinionated. So you may find that your mother is becoming critical or offers unwanted advice or comes to your house a lot when you don't expect her to or is critical in some other way, judgmental, maybe harping or nagging about things. Now maybe this is something new for her, a new behavior, or maybe this is the way your relationship has always been with her and it just seems to be getting progressively worse and worse and worse. Now your first instinct might be to avoid her, try not to be around her, say I just can't be around my mother she drives me crazy and eliminate the relationship or, or lessen the relationship but actually at this time in your life you may want to do the opposite and try to keep her close try to stay in a relationship with her because that relationship is going to be valuable to you as you age and as she ages but you may find that difficult to do if she is being critical, judgmental, difficult, all those things that, that this woman has become. Okay, so what do you do about that? Well, the first thing I would say is, why don't you decide and be honest with yourself about whose problem is this? Who's having the problem? The thing is, you're sort of diagnosing your mother as she shouldn't be saying that, she shouldn't be doing that, that's inappropriate. She has no right to do that. But actually, maybe she does. Maybe that's who she is. Are you likely to change her as she gets older? Probably not. So who's having the problem? You are having the problem with it. You feel like she's uh, coming into your space unannounced or that she is asking things of you that you don't want. Who's having the problem with it? You're having the problem with it. If you can't control her, then what you can do is change yourself. Change yourself. So. One of the things that you might try is decide thinking, not reacting, but thinking in your brain, what can I do to compromise and make this better? And how can I talk to her about this? Knowing that you might get a little resistance from her. Let's say she calls you up every day and she keeps you on the phone for half an hour about how lonely she is and nobody visits her and she makes you feel really guilty. So if you think about it, instead of react to it with anger, you might say to her, you know, Mom, I love talking to you, but I'm really busy on so many days that how about this? How about if I talk to you Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when you call, but I'm not going to be able to talk to you on Thursdays because that's the day I do this. And then she, of course, will try to make you feel guilty. Oh, you don't want to talk to me, huh? That's the problem. But keep in mind your focus, which is to reach a compromise where you and she can get along better because, again, you want to stay in a relationship with her and just understand she might try to make you feel guilty. You know, that's one thing I would say. Also, you just may not realize that her feelings are changing and you may want to talk to her about what her feelings are these days. Ask her how she managed her parents as they got older. You need to learn to set some boundaries with your mom, but be very, very compassionate. Tell her in no uncertain terms what you want to do, what your life is like, and that you appreciate her input, but you're going to do it your way anyway because you're an adult now. And so I think if you do those things kindly and nicely, you may have a better relationship with your mother. This is a book I'd like to recommend that gives you some great tips on setting boundaries with your elderly parents. It's called The Dance of Anger by Harriet Lerner, Ph.D. This is all about fixing your relationship with your elderly mother. I'm Kathy Fountain.